Hello, happy NaNoWriMo day 16. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Katie. I'm an author and an editor. I have five books out currently, and my sixth book is coming out December 7th. It's called Wicked Souls. It's the second book in my Marionette series, and for NaNoWriMo this month, we are writing book three. This is my second channel. My main one is linked down below. We're doing daily nano vlogs over here. Today's Tuesday. We had a lot to do today, so um, the past couple of vlogs have been like very chill and laid back. I have a lot to do today. We're hoping to get some writing done for book three. Obviously, I'm still proofreading book two. I'm hoping to finish that before the end of this week but then I'm also doing a bunch of like content creation kind of stuff today I have several videos that I need to film and I'm also making a bunch of like graphics and stuff um I haven't announced it on the main channel yet but you guys you guys get a sneak peek I did announce it in my newsletter my first series the pact is going into kindle unlimited later this month I've actually already started taking them off of the other sites and I'm just waiting for that to update basically I am going to set a specific date that I'm going to announce it so I'm making all of these graphics to post when I do make the announcement so um to try and like you know get some excitement do a little bit of marketing for that shift into KU so if you want to help me out I'm gonna have a link down below to a google drive with all of the images and stuff that I've made some of them are for Instagram posts some of them are for Instagram stories some of them are for like you can post them pretty much anywhere so if you want to help me out on the specific date that I will put down there also that I'm gonna announce it just to like post on that day to help me spread the word if you know what I mean I would appreciate the help so much I'm excited. So I'm making um, all of that kind of stuff this morning. And like I said, we're gonna film quite a few videos and then hopefully we'll get some writing done this afternoon as well. I'm at a really good place with my nano book. I'm over 30,000 words right now, which was actually my goal for the whole month. So I'm perfectly happy with how we're doing. It's 11 o'clock right now. So I will update you this afternoon if I write anything. <laughs> okay, so we just filmed one of the many videos that I wanna do, but I'm gonna try and avoid having my camera die on me. Even though it's not dying yet, I know it will be based on how many things I need to film today. So we're gonna go charge it in between videos. I just filmed one for my patreon page for the self-publishing tier it was another behind the scenes cover designing process but this one for my romantic suspense cover that I haven't shared anywhere because partially because people seem to really like the first video about the cover designing process I think people just kind of like to see that side of it so I thought it'd be fun to do another video like that but then also this was partially just like my way if I wanted to share this cover with somebody I wanted to talk about this book with somebody so I also shared the blurb in there and what the book is about so I don't know which that video might be our December video because I already have one posted in November and I'm uploading book video number two as we speak so this might be a December video. I'm looking forward to it. This was basically my excuse just to share this cover with somebody because I haven't been able to talk about it and I love it so much and I just wanted someone else to see it. So now it's 11.45. Okay, second video has been filmed. This one was pre-filming really far in advance but nothing's gonna change between now and then that would alter what the content of this video was gonna be so I figured I might as well get it out of the way now. I filmed the playlist video for Wicked Souls' release week so that'll be fun. Now it's 12 15. I'm gonna plug in the camera battery and I think we're gonna work on the nano project for a little bit before we film video number three. Hello so it's almost five o'clock now. <laughs> Pretty much decided the writing's not gonna happen today. I wrote 150 words so we wrote something and I'm just tired and i'm not feeling it today and we're not, I'm not gonna force it so it's fine we're ahead of schedule everything's fine yeah i mainly focused on filming and editing today i edited almost all of the videos that i filmed today as well so i'm really happy with that i filmed a ton of tiktoks which i've been meaning to do and i posted one so we got plenty of stuff done just not really so much on the writing front i haven't proofread wicked souls at all today though so i might do some of that tonight but i think we're gonna set up on the couch we're gonna make some dinner watch a movie or something and have a chill night i've been trying to be better about getting back into the habit of reading every night so i'm gonna read at least a chapter of this i started the reading vlog for this for a patreon page and i put up a video today on patreon it's been like an ongoing vlog that i was making for the self-publishing tier i ran a free promotion on my book the anti-virginity pact at the beginning of october so i kind of vlogged that whole experience starting with when I put it on sale, well, when I put it free, how many free downloads I got. And then I checked in kind of like a month later, like what kind of read through have I seen? How much money did I spend on the promo to begin with? And my plans for that series moving forward. So it's just kind of like an overall vlog of that whole experience. So that's up on my Patreon page now in the self-publishing tier. Yeah, so like I said, we're gonna take a break. Um, I might try and get some more proofreading done tonight and I'm gonna set up on the couch. I'll probably answer some of your questions 
a little bit later tonight. I don't know if there actually are any. We shall see. Let's finish off the vlog with some questions, shall we? I'll have a day in here. Have you read Survive the Night by Riley Sager? I loved it. Um, yes, I read it whatever month it came out. It was our book club book over on Patreon, so there's a reading vlog over there. Um, I usually love Riley Sager. He's one of my favorite thriller authors, but this was my least favorite book of his, so I didn't like this one. It just was not my cup of tea. Do you plan on releasing another poetry book? Have we talked about this? I feel like I talked about this. I can't remember if I did or not. Maybe I never posted the video. No. Um, I have another one. I wrote another one. I got it all ready to go and it was pretty much ready to publish. And then I decided I'm not going to publish it and I'm not going to publish poetry anymore in part because I'm trying to stop jumping around genre wise and really narrow my focus down as I get further into my career. And also I really don't know what changed exactly. Maybe it was my books becoming more popular, more people reading them. I've even toyed with the idea of unpublishing my two poetry books that are out now and taking them down. And it's just, poetry is such a personal thing for me. And when I first published those two collections, the only people who were really reading them were like my audience on here. Um, so I don't really have a problem with it. And now that they've gotten like more attention and everything, like hearing um, negative reviews and criticism for my novels and stuff is one thing because it's fiction, but then having people pick apart the poetry collections felt a lot more personal because they are more personal. And a lot of times the way people would phrase things, it was like offensive because it wasn't just like about like, I didn't like this story. It's like, this girl is whiny and dramatic and this is just teen angsty. When I was talking about like abuse and like these like really, these things that I really struggled with and then having people like minimize that and stuff. It just made me realize maybe I don't want to give people access to this. Maybe I don't want just anyone to be able to read this kind of stuff because it's so personal. So although I'm really proud of the third poetry collection that I put together and I had some poems in there that I really liked, I just realized like it's not worth the toll it was taking on my mental health um, to put it out there. It's like a completely different level than having people critique your novels. For me and I just realized maybe I don't want to keep subjecting myself to this and it wasn't just that like people didn't like it because like that's a personal preference thing it was just I don't know this happens with novels too some reviewers don't really have a boundary between critiquing the work and then critiquing the person who wrote it and it still sucks when people do that when they do that with my novels but it particularly sucked with the poetry and I just kind of realized it wasn't worth it to keep publishing them and having people assume things about me as a person and my personal life and trying to like dig more into my personal life based on the poetry it's just um it got to be really uncomfortable for me so no as of right now no do you recommend planning your whole series up front or one book at a time also did you outline the whole series or just one book at a time how did you do it so I have a video where I talked all about that. I think it was the one that I posted on release day on my main channel. I can link it down below. It was like the Q&A video about the first book. And I went into like all of that. So if you're kind of curious about how I did this whole series and outlining and stuff, I would recommend that video. And I don't have a recommendation either way for other people. I feel like you have to figure out what works best for you because what worked for me might not work for you. And I even had to like figure out, originally I thought I was gonna like outline the whole thing and then I had to like kind of tweak my process as I went to find what works best for this series. So I really don't think it's a one size fits all kind of thing. Is the paperback version of Poems for the End of the World available only on Amazon or Book Depository is just sold out? It's not only available on Amazon, it should be everywhere. If it's not showing up on Book Depository, I will look into that. Um, but no, it's not Amazon exclusive, so it should be elsewhere. How do you do your newsletter? I've looked at tutorials and I'm still confused. I just do mine directly through my website, through Wix. Um, if you have any specific questions on what you're confused about, feel free to let me know. I think that's going to be it for today's vlog. This is probably a short one, but thanks for hanging out with me today. We didn't get a lot of writing done today, but um, days off are important too. So hopefully I will feel more in the mood to get some writing done tomorrow. I'm not worried about it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. No.